Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about all the essentials that you need for nursing school. If you're interested in this, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so just so you know, everything that I am mentioning on the video, it's going to be linked on my Amazon storefront or my like to know it page. And I'm going to leave those both in the description box below. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a good book bag or a tote, whatever you prefer. So what I used was a North Face book bag and I also bought a tote bag that it was for clinical. I'm going to put both of them, um, everything that I am talking about, I'm going to put a picture on the screen so you can see it. So the book bag I use for lecture and the tote bag I use for clinical. But honestly, when I was on my senior year, I used a smaller book bag because I wasn't taking a lot of things to school or anything like that so yes this is more of like a preference wise thing but you're definitely going to need something that is sturdy that is going to last you a whole time that you're in nursing school honestly also a little tip when you are trying to find a clinical bag you should get something that is on the smaller side because honestly on most hospital like for example on most hospitals that i went to or clinical rotations have space for us to put our stuff we just put it wherever there was like a little corner or anything and also don't bring anything that is like very valuable to you because it could get stolen also on the bag that's category you should get a lunch bag either small or big also it's a preference but I feel like it's good to have a lunchbox to have all your snacks and food in one place them fresh and also it honestly saves you money if you bring your own food to school instead of every time you go to school you buy something to eat so yeah and also in the lunch thing you should also get a water bottle to keep hydrated um, i know that there's a bunch of different brands out there i have some on my amazon stone front i know that stanley cups are also very popular right now and also on amazon there's like dupes like simple modern cups i'm gonna put a picture of them i feel like they look better than the stanley cups honestly i'm probably gonna get one subs to be hydrated or to drink coffee is that if that's your thing i honestly don't really drink coffee <laughs> okay so now kind of kind of going on what you need for clinical it is one of these stethoscope cases they have a bunch of different colors they also have plain ones that don't have like design or anything and there's also ones that you can customize with your name and stuff from amazon this is very good to protect your stethoscope they also have like stethoscope holders that you can um put on your scrub top or on your pants also gonna um leg those i'm thinking about getting one of those honestly because yeah uh because you're not gonna be with this on the floor <laughs> It's just to protect it so nothing happens to it the next thing that you're gonna need for clinical is a good stethoscope honestly there's cheap ones they're very expensive one honestly you do not need a Lidman cardiology stethoscope that is way too expensive and this is the regular Lidman one like I said I'm gonna link everything I don't really know the uh, exact name of it but yeah um, also you can customize these um, you can put your engrave it with your name and I had a, a little tag with my name but it broke so <laughs> yes um they also said like little charms for your stethoscope they are so cute that's something that you don't need but it's cute you know yeah uh, this is very good they also have like the mdf instruments one that they come in a bunch of cute different colors and it is also as good because i had classmates that had them and they honestly it's like the same thing but done also don't get like very very cheap ones because then you won't be able to like hear anything <laughs> so it's kind of like a range. I'm going to leave my recommendations below of things that I've used so you know like what works and what doesn't. Something else that is good to have for clinical, it is a watch with a second hand. So this one also actually has like a pin and you can um, pin it to your scrub top. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I need to change the batteries. But I did use this on clinical to like count respirations and stuff like that. So this is very good. This came in a pack of like three and it was very, very cheap. Also, I know that some professors don't want you to use an Apple watch, but honestly, there's even a app that is used for counting respirations and stuff like that so i'm gonna see if i can link it below and it is for your apple watch and now um some apple watches have the ability to stay on and they don't turn off so it is good if you want to like count respirations and you, you can still see it and the screen won't turn off also something else that you're gonna need are pen lights you know for pupil assessments and if you want to look in their mouth this one doesn't work <laughs> i need to buy batteries for everything honestly and also this one it's like an led light it is used to look like in the mouth or in the ears or nose or whatever you want to look but like my professor told me that it's not good to flash this in someone's eye because it's too strong so i'm also gonna show you ones that are like softer light but you, 
you can still see it but also this one comes with the size of the pupil and a little thing in the back and a clip so you can clip it put it on your scrap or something so yeah you're going to need shears so this one i don't know why i got such a strong color <laughs> honestly the reason why i bought it is because my stethoscope you see you can see it it's like rainbow on the piece right and this is also rainbow so kind of was going with a theme but this is like very bright and this is very big actually if you don't want a big one uh, they sell like smaller ones they also sell ones that you can you can like collapse it and they're small and you can like put it on your patch um, so yeah that's cool okay guys so something else that you will need for clinical are like some things for your batch so look how cute this is so i made these and i'm gonna start selling them if you guys don't know i have my own business so yeah stay tuned for that and follow me on my business instagram so you can see when i'm gonna start selling these so the batch reel right i also made this and this is called a batch buddy so here you can put um your title or your name if you want and in the back it is very shiny with glitter and this is so cute like i love it i made a bunch of different ones like look at this one this one's for vertical ones also and they also have extended ones if you want to see more of your um of the design in the back this one is just like a simple one and then this one is my favorite one it's so cute so yeah stay tuned for that i'm gonna leave uh, my business instagram over here if you can see if you want to see it so also something that i feel like is very good for your batch is to have a mini highlighter and a mini sharpie and also like a mini pen on you all the time and also like an expo marker um if you have to write something on a board or something um they also sell um like batch cards that have like vital finds and important things to reference when you, you need them for clinical these are very very good there's one from nurse iq i'm gonna put a picture of everything um nurse in the making also has they also sell on amazon um i forgot what brand it is but i'm also gonna put put it i think it's batch guru or something like that but yeah those are very good i actually didn't have any that i bought for clinical but i know that some of my classmates had them and they were very very good to reference when you did it when you need them so yeah so something else for clinical i know every everybody and their mother <laughs> has these this was some people have like mixed feelings on it I personally used it a lot. Honestly, it doesn't really fit in your scrub pocket. Like in my pants, it fit on the on the part of my, my scrub pants, but it was too tight. If I wanted to like bend over to reach for something or something like that, it was like very uncomfortable and um, it was heavy because, and then like my pants will come down a little bit. So this doesn't really fit on your scrub top or your pants so they actually sell ones that they fold in three honestly it will fit better on your pocket but then your your papers are going to be folding three so i don't really know about that but yeah this one's very good um it has like a lot of information for you to use it open it's very sturdy honestly it opens like this with your papers right here so yeah i think honestly yeah this is like a good investment but just hold it don't put it on your on your pocket because it's not that good for that also guys pens a lot of pens this is from clove and it says for borrowing only it's so cool uh this came with my shoes now let's talk about shoes a lot of people don't like clove sneakers i don't know why they're very i'm not gonna lie they're very comfortable but they're not like the most comfortable that it's out there you know a lot of people recommend on cloud sneakers but they're pretty expensive also brooks are very good some of the sketcher ones are also very very um comfortable oh hokas everybody is talking about hokas i'm gonna have to make a video like trying different uh, shoes to see which one's the best for 12 hour shifts because listen we gotta take care of our feet right but yeah honestly i like the clothes sneakers i have three pairs and the colors are cute they look cute so and also something else that you're gonna need talking about shoes and everything are compression socks or sleeves you can use like comp compression sleeves if you um, are using joggers or your uniform and you don't want socks to show those are good they're very good on amazon very good quality also i have compression socks from clove they're amazing and they have come in very cute colors also very cute on amazon that they have like different patterns and stuff for like nursing so yeah okay so something else that you need for a clinical is like a mini book or notebook so this is very good i think i got it on the dollar store honestly i don't remember they also sell this on amazon a three pack for like five bucks it's very very cheap so here i used to write everything like that i needed to know about my patients any information it was here on this notebook so this is very good it's 
fit in my crop pocket <laughs> because it's small and yeah i will also write like vitals things that i need to needed to remember some laughs that i needed to remember lotion so this one is from eos and it's in the scent lavender this is so good i need another one you can tell like i use it a lot i always used to put it in my scrub pocket because i used to wash my hands so often of course that's good you need to wash your hands right but your hands get so dry, like I still have dryness in my hands for all the time that I wash my hands. So um, this one's very good. I feel like this scent is not like like overpowering and that's good because um, if you're going to be touching patients, they may be allergic to like the smell. Try to use a lotion that is non-scented or that the scent is very like minimal. So yeah, this one I feel like it smells, it doesn't smell that strong, honestly. So yeah. Something else that I recommend for nursing school is to have your own blood pressure cuff and your own pulse oximeter. You want be using it for clinicals because if you go to a hospital setting they will have one and also you're not supposed to use your own because of you know infection control so yeah but with the pulse oximeter it's also good if you're like in lab in school and things like that so yeah i totally recommend that you get your own even so you can uh, practice it on, on your family members or anything like that okay so the next thing will be something for like lecture more, more specifically it'll be either a laptop or an ipad or whatever tablet honestly it doesn't really matter it depends on your budget and what you're comfortable with spending so i got this one for school this is the ipad pro 2018 honestly it's been holding it off for like four years <laughs> so this is very very good it has lasted a long time honestly and i don't really plan on changing it anytime soon and i use it for school i use it to write notes the apple pencil and it just like charges like this and everything obviously i feel like everybody knows what an ipad is <laughs> so yeah i really use this a lot in school and also when i was studying for the NCLEX, i wrote all my notes here i didn't really like to write notes like on pen with pen and paper sometimes i did but most of the time it was my ipad and also i used my computer i have a macbook pro 2019 if i'm not mistaken taken also use it to edit my videos and everything you don't need something that powerful honestly if you're just gonna do regular work and stuff like that but i needed that more power so yeah and also like i said this is optional this is not like you need it 100 percent i know that some people prefer to write things down print their powerpoints and slides and everything and that's completely fine i agree i used to do it too at the beginning but then i fell in love with the ipad but yeah <laughs> and also if you have a computer or an ipad i would recommend getting like it's like a stand i'm gonna put a picture of here i have one but you clip it on the side of your desk or on the side of a table and then you can put it however in whatever position you want and also with the computer they have stands for the computer and it's good for your posture so you don't have to be look, like looking down in your computer when you're writing stuff and everything and also with the with the stand i found out that it's it was better for me to get like a keyboard and a mouse because and i will be like writing like this on the top and that also wasn't comfortable so yeah so you're also going to need a planner listen planning in school you have to plan honestly because there's uh too many assignments too many tests too many things that you have to do so it's good that you plan sometimes it depends i have videos that you can see how i used to plan for school i was using a happy planner i had a classic one then i had a big one and then i started using notion for school i loved it but then i was like listen i i need to write stuff down so now what i use and what i recommend honestly it's to have kind of like both like if you use notion or anything like in your computer or your ipad digital planning is good but if you also like to write stuff i recommend like another planner there's a bunch of planners out there honestly i recently got this one from grace beverly you can see it in the back right there it's from like the productivity method this is so good honestly like daily planning so this is how it looks like inside I really love this that's what i'm using right now also having headphones that are noise canceling headphones are it's good for when you're studying i have the beat headphones i haven't tried the apple ones they're very expensive but i heard they're very good also there's sunny sunny ones that are good both there's a lot of them out there i'm gonna leave some of my recommendations in my amazon storefront or down below so you can see it okay guys so i wanted to thank pigmonic for partnering with me in today's video if you don't know what pigmonic is it's a website and also they have an app and it is great to study for nurses school and even the NCLEX. I used it both times and I totally loved it. So basically they use characters and they tell you a story and that's how you learned 
to retain that information information so i really love using it i'm gonna show you right here how it looks okay guys so i'm gonna show you how it looks how the app looks most specifically so you can see it so um right here you have your home you have your recently viewed and your recommended so let me show you how one of them looks so you can um, have an idea so this is how it looks so you basically get a story and it tells you everything that you had to know for example this one is from pt and ptt lab values so you can remember the values right so this is how it looks like like i said it uses characters and a story so you can remember and this is so useful most importantly for lab values i think that i used to tend tend it to use more and you have a bunch of things so like for example if you wanted to study for your NCLEX with it, you could click NCLEX, right? And here are everything, all of the systems you have, for example, put in electrolyte imbalances. And they also have books. If you have a book, for example, you click books and this is all the books. For example, this one for fundamentals, this was, this one was my book for fundamentals. And, um, you have it by chapter and according to that chapter they give you a pigmonic and then you watch it and this is super helpful when you are studying for um, your test and everything so yeah once again thank you pigmonic for partnering with me in today's video and i have a link that you can use for 20 percent off of your pigmonic subscription if you're interested in that make sure to click the link in the, the description box below also guys, there are different books that are good for when you're studying for your classes. I'm gonna leave some recommendations down below and I'm gonna put a picture right here. There's a Pigmonic book that is also very good. And there's also another one that is a study planner that you can use to study for the NCLEX. And also I recommend to have a whiteboard and some uh, dry erase markers. So this is very good for when you're studying. I honestly totally recommend this. It is good for like when you're doing like active recall and when you're like writing stuff down over and over again so you can remember okay guys so that's everything that i have for today if i missed something or if you have any more essentials that you think every nursing student should have then make sure to leave me a comment down below so we can help each other out and like i said everything will be linked on my amateur storefront or if it's not on amazon then i'm going to link it with on my like to know it page once again thank you pigmonic for partnering with me in today's video and don't forget that if you want to try it out i have a 20 percent off discount code so you can click the link below where it says pigmonic 20% off and then you will get 20% off of your subscription okay guys so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video then make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video if you have any suggestions of videos that you want me to make for you then make sure to leave me a comment down below and i'll make sure to make that video thank you for watching guys bye